Don't be so tense, Fenric. We will definitely stop the destruction of the moon. I promise. Because this really would affect the werewolf most of all. Hello, he with Lee here back with another episode of Disc Gaia 4. I can't believe there's another f an episode. I mean, seriously, I spent this entire time thinking, okay, there's eight of these. My lord. Plus, about time you started treating the other members of the party. All right. <laughs> the only things I trust. I will trust nothing at all. I rely on them. Is the way of Fenric. Yeah, we've come accustomed to that. Ah, you're right. Let's hurry. On to the moon. How are we going to get to the moon? I'm asking this legitimately. Or are we just gonna have the dimension guide us there? So, how do we get there? Shouldn't your dad be able to prepare a rocket or some kind of a space shuttle for us? I don't think you could do it on the spot. This is the final battle! Desco wants something cooler, like a space battleship or, or a super robot! Okay, everyone in the Prinny Kazarex. That would help a lot. It's not like there's just gonna be an old man and his bunnies waiting for us on the moon. I feel like that's a reference to something, but I don't know what. Instead of wasting that kind of labor and money, I've already made a dimension to the moon. Hmm. Efficient. We'll simply need to talk to the dimension guide as usual. Then we'll instantly be on the moon. Okay, do souls need to breathe? What? That's so not cool. Boring. Where's the fun in that? The ability to come back and heal? Shut up! I'll turn you into floating space debris if you keep whining, you damn lass! How could you speak like that to Big Sis? Desco will never forgive you! Where have you been any of the other times he's talking to her? Sure. Say those things when you're not hiding behind your older sister. I'm just saying. Is it just me or is Fenric in a worse mood than usual? He might actually turn Buka into floating space debris. It's only natural. The werewolf's power source, the moon, is being threatened. That's not the only reason. The moon is the symbol of my loyalty to my lord. Those who try to taint such a thing must be abolished as quickly as possible. Oh my! Did you hear that, Miss Desco? Something about the moon, the symbol of his loyalty to his lord. I'm super curious! They definitely do a good job of hyping up one of the DLCs. The one where you get to actually go back in time and see what happens. Desco is curious too, Big Sis. What about you, Miss Volcanus? Yep, yep. The truth about the relationship between those boys is about to be revealed. And it shivers down my spine. <laughs> oh, Miss Volcanus, that's a little vulgar, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you sis, you're drooling. Now, as we promised last, shall we continue work together to discover the truth? <laughs> For all women like this? I'm never getting married. And these will solemnly vow to the moon. <laughs> wow. Okay, on to episode nine. Ooh, nice image. The moon, 3,474 kilometers in diameter, with a surface area of 38 million square kilometers. Its silver glow, the reflection of the sun's light, gives demons such as werewolves a tremendous amount of power. It also serves an important role for the families of darkness. So, this is the moon. What? Is that a knife? Is that the Empire State Building? And what? The f what? I've always pictured it as a barren field, but the other side seems different. Not only they invaded our sanctuary, but they also built these filthy things. 
Okay, it's human, it's not theirs. I don't know who they are. Hope they don't think they can get away with doing this. That's right! Only a final boss is entitled to do something like this. In other words, only Desco is allowed to destroy the moon! No, you're not allowed to do that either. Hopefully we can negotiate and settle this without unnecessary bloodshed. Our Lady Archangel would say the same thing. Enough with your rational, objective thoughts. You've already come this far with us, you hypocritical bitch. <laughs> Uh, who needs logic? <gasps> What's the matter, big sis? Your face turned all red. She does need to breathe. <laughs> what is it? Just spit it out. <sighs> I can't do it anymore. Wait! Ah, the oxygen! Crap! I'm gonna die! Too late! <laughs> uh, Miss Fuka, were you holding your breath this whole time? Of course I was! Even elementary schoolers know that there's no oxygen on the moon! Right, that's how we're all able to speak to one another, considering that there needs to be at least some form of physical substance in between the two objects. Space does not... <laughs> Space cannot transmit sound. Well, at least not just regular people talking. Radio waves, I'm sure. I suppose middle schools don't teach kids that demons and angels don't need oxygen to survive. So we could go underwater. And while we're on the subject, I'll teach you one more thing. Dead people don't need oxygen either. <laughs> hey, I am so not dead! So you won't admit it? Even when you're on the moon, your power of denial is rather impressive. Now all we have to do is harness it as a weapon. <sighs> you're right. How could we talk on the moon if this was really happening? This is definitely a dream. <sighs> <laughs> it was stupid of me to hold my breath. I would do anything to stop you from breathing altogether. Just leave her alone, Fenric. You'd only be wasting your time. That's enough chatting. It looks like we've got special guests. Oh, these guys. What do you think you're doing here? No trespassing allowed. Um, you don't have thing- are you demons? Because you don't have mouth guards. We're not trespassing. We're here to stop you from destroying the moon. Stop us? I don't think so. It's our duty to destroy the moon. Why? We won't allow any actions that aren't approved by our leader. All right, then bring us to your leader. We don't have the right to do so. To see our leader, you must fill out a request form and go through the official channels. A request form and official channels? That sounds really bureaucratic. Who are you guys? Aliens. Ah. Of course. There's only everything else in this game. Like creatures are aliens? Why not? Jeez, where's the fun in that? Seriously? These messengers from space are our next enemies? Desco is getting excited. Aliens or not, it doesn't matter. I'll kill anybody that tries to destroy the moon. Please don't hit me. Who will the cops if you don't leave? They're space cops. We are demons! Well, not all of us, but most of us are. Bring on whatever you got! There's no reason for us to follow the rules you created for yourselves. 
That being said, I'm going to abolish you. Demons? One of the unscientific creatures of the universe? Like angels and gods? I don't want some alien telling me what I am. <laughs> At least we finally agree on something, Thief Angel. I thought we were going to negotiate to avoid bloodshed. Yeah, but that would be rational. Talking doesn't seem to be working with these businessmen. Plus, you're in a hurry, right, Mr. Werewolf? <laughs> I'm still not fond of that know-it-all look of yours. Don't think you're doing me a favor. <laughs> I would never think that. Oh. Okay, fighting. <laughs>